20 by 32, 10 feet tall. All right, in this short little video, I'm gonna kind of give you an idea what these folks did here on this post rain pole barn building. This is an 812 pitch. All right, 812, and actually the gentleman, he's gonna hold off on concrete just a little bit. We're actually in December, actually out here in Ohio. You can see that window right there, so an 812 pitch. It jets on down here, a 412, so an eight foot porch running the full length of that 32. On a rosewood pattern, all right? Kind of matches the setting out here in the woods. Look at that, a rosewood setting, or actually a rosewood sidewall metal with black wainscot. See the 10 foot of the eave there? I call it like a traditional one foot overhang. You can see right there, four by six posts. All right, so let me kind of give you a little bit better idea on this post rain pole barn building. We got her right here. And I tell you what, the owners were kind enough. Actually, you can see they went with five windows, three by four windows right here, as you can see. And up there, that's actually a two by four, 12 pitch. Jets on down there to a 412. All right, look at those windows there. But let me get you a little bit closer here on this side wall. Actually, this is called a rosewood. All right, so actually a 26 gauge. All right, and then right here, a black wainscot. All right. So let's go inside here. I'm gonna share with you actually the attic style trusses that we did on this. By 32, 10 feet tall. Again, a 10 by eight door is gonna be installed. So he's got this set up and he's gonna come back and he's gonna grade this and actually pour some concrete when that time comes. I get a 20 foot width. So I know a lot of you folks out there asking me, hey, can I do an attic style, maybe on a smaller building? You know, I wouldn't call this like real small, but not huge, you know? A lot of times you'll see these attic style, maybe a little bit bigger, like a 40 foot in width. But you can see right here, 20 foot width. And you can see what we did as far as these attic trusses. Look at that, actually a bottom cord, a two by eight. All right, a two by six, and he applied. We got drip stop metal that comes pre-assembled to that underneath of that metal right here. All right, so we got a hurricane ties up on this one. See that on the double top beam, two by eight yellow pine. See that, so we got the H1 hurricane ties. Now this is actually about eh, 30 miles, 40 miles from Lake Erie, so it can get pretty windy around here all right so we got our truss blocks set up right there as i pan over and you can see right here actually and the gym this four by six post right here in the middle and they ran that window over there you know on a building and so forth that kind of gives you an idea all right a double top beam header there two by eight yellow pine and we got the h1 hurricane ties six feet six inches all right of attic space of storage space on this building. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea. All right, so you can see right here, two by four wall construction, two foot on center. All right, then we actually got the two by six diagonal bracing as well. All right, so let me know in the comments any questions and I'll dub edit this. All right, so keep it locked, keep it loaded right here till the next one.